see the country is witnessing the politics of vendetta being spearheaded by the Modi government against Rahul Gandhi. And today he has been disqualified. It is a sheer case of retributive politics because Rahul Gandhi ji has been gaining popularity, especially in the wake of Bharat Juro Jatra, which was not digested by Modi government. Modi government and BJP party, they are under the impression that Rahul Gandhi has to be throttled, has to be muzzled, because if Rahul Gandhi is allowed to speak inside the parliament, then that danger will come for them. They will be dislodged from the government. So this is a very cruel, cruel demonstration of an autocrat government. See, I would warn the people of India that democracy cannot survive under this present dispensation. The reason being that to, to continue that democracy, you need democrats. But in India, those who are running the government and the party, they do not believe in the principle of democracy. Rather, they are the worshipper of autocracy and they are absolutely autocrats. Now, we are under the regime of autocrat. This has been clearly with, with a, without any compunction, without mincing any word, I must say that this government is nothing but a autocratic government. But again, I must reassert on behalf of my party that Rahul ji is such a leader who cannot be cowed down by those coward people. They are coward, they are timid, they do not know how to face Rahul Gandhi. That is why they thought it prudent to, to throttle him, to subjugate him by any way whatsoever. That is why he has been disqualified. In the near future, he, he will be, he will be facing more punishment from this government. But Rahul Gandhi ji is an intrepid political personality who believes in the politics of people, who believes in the politics of democracy, who believes in the politics of people's power. So Rahul Gandhi cannot be cowed down by this government.